Hello guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do in case your CMD is not working or not opening in Windows 10, of course. In this video, I'm going to show you something really quick that can help you fix this issue. So let's just uh, jump right into it. First of all, a very good solution would be to open your file explorer. Go to this PC, of course. Right click on your Windows partition, go to properties, and then go to tools. And here you're going to have this section error checking. This option will check the drive for file system errors so after you click on check this uh, window will pop up error checking local disk C because uh, this is where I have my Windows 10 installed and I can click on scan drive you can keep using this drive during the scan if the if errors are found you can decide if you want to fix them so you can click on that the system will start scanning and will fix every file that is damaged missing corrupted and stuff like that uh, of course here we're talking about the Windows important files because uh, those Windows important files if any damage is did to them uh, they can um, do they can cause errors like this programs Windows programs not working like CMD so in my case no errors were found but in your case if CMD is not working you should find errors and uh, you can go to show details and and even viewer will open up and here you will be able to see some more informations about um, the errors that you got okay so this is one option another thing that you should try is to open PowerShell as administrator open the uh, Windows search so type in here power right click on PowerShell and run as administrator on the user account control click on yes and here you are gonna have to type in SFC space slash scan now so this is a command I'm gonna leave you this command in the description down below make sure to run it press enter and you're gonna see that this command will uh, check the system files is this is another way that you can check the system files to see if there are any problems uh, with it uh, but with this command as you can see you're gonna have to reboot your system System to complete the system repair or the system scan so do that and uh, if and if the problem is still there you still can't open CMD come back to the video and uh, let's uh, move on to other options that you have another thing that you should try is to do a shortcut of CMD in some cases users reported that this fixed the problem right click on desktop new shortcut here type the location of the item type in here cmd.exe next up uh, name it whatever you want and finish we have this here right click on it then click on properties go to advanced in the shortcut tab and select run as administrator click on ok apply and ok and uh, CMD should work and should open up as administrator if the problem is fixed but stay in this video because if it's not working I'm gonna show you a few other solutions another thing that you could try is to update the path of the system environment variables this is a bit of a more complicated solution but um, if you do it you should be good to go so uh, in this search box to do this we're gonna have to type in here system environment and you're gonna see here the edit the system environment variables and under the advanced tab you're gonna see here environment variables click on it and click on the path section and then click on edit here you're gonna have to click on new and add this new path I copied it but you're gonna have it in the description down below and then just go and uh, click on OK and OK now make sure you restart your PC and check if CMD is now working so these are the solutions that I showed you in this video I'm hoping that after seeing this video you managed to fix the problem but uh, one thing I want to assure you is that if anything happens and you still can't use CMD for whatever reason you can always use PowerShell PowerShell is a very good alternative to CMD and you can run the same commands in PowerShell as you do in CMD so uh, this is only if anything doesn't work and you can't fix it and you can't bother to reinstall Windows and stuff like that you can always use PowerShell but I'm hoping that this video fixed your problem and now you can use CMD this was the video for today guys if you liked it and if and if it was useful don't forget to leave a like down below of course a comment don't forget to also subscribe with a with a notification bell activated so you won't miss any future uploads if you want. Until next time, have a nice day.